Hello, we are looking at the Guinness Book of Records for 2022 in Korean this afternoon and um, we it's a very, very big book. It's got lots and lots of information in it, some very strange facts, but lots of things that people have done more than other people or better or they've jumped higher or they've run for longer. So they've had a personal record and they have broken other people's records as well. And that's what this book is all about. This book is an information book. It doesn't tell a story, it gives us information. And today, you're going to have a chance to make your own information book. An information book is one that gives other people information. You might want to make your own book of records it says records by Mrs. Browning. And I started to draw a little picture of um, Caden who um, broke his own record of running around. And there are lots of pages in this book that you can complete as you want to. You can make a book of records if you want, or you can make just a book of anything. It could be a book all about you and your family. It could be a book about animals. It could be a book about sports could be a book about cars or different types of transport. You could decide or you could write a story. So it's a lovely idea, I think, to have a little book that you can make yourself. And I'm going to show you how to make that actual book. So in the pack that you were given to take home, you've got a very large A3 piece of paper, which had been folded in half. And on the large piece of A3 paper, there's one long black line and there's a rectangle and the bottom bit that says by and a line. So if we remember that it's already been folded, we want to fold it the other way. OK, and what's important when we're folding is that we try and match the corners so we make it nice and neat. We'll match that corner to that corner and then crease it down. We crease it down all the way along the line. OK, and then when we open it up again, it's like a bit of origami. We've got a fold going along the way and we've got a fold going up and down the way, okay? Next, if we fold it back to that long shape, we're going to fold it again, but we're gonna fold this side into the middle. And we want to do it so that it's nice and neat again. So just take your time or ask a grown up to help you with taking their time to help you crease that down and then folding in from the other side. It might be easier to crease it when you're actually leaning on a desk or a table or the floor, rather than trying to do it in midair like I am. I'm only doing this for the video. So I've folded those in. I'm gonna fold them out again. I'm gonna fold the whole thing out again. So we've got our big A3 piece of paper. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different rectangles or eight different boxes. If we fold it back the way that you got it, you'll see that there's a black line. It's going down that side and it's going down that side, but it only goes halfway. It doesn't go the, all the way down. And what you need to do with the black line is to use a pair of scissors and cut. Let's get my scissors. Cut down the black line. Cut it all the way down to where the black line stops, but it's not all the way down the page. When you open it out again, you'll see there's a big hole now, but the big hole's gonna help us. So we fold it over again, and I'll turn it around so you can see the front of the, of the book. And now, if I turn it sideways, and we give it a little bit of a helping hand, we can push those two bits together. So we've made a sort of cross, and then we can fold it so that the front cover, it's a little bit tricky this, folds over like that, folds round like that. We've made it into a little book, but it's important again to crease it down. Crease the, the spine, that's the bit where the book would open. Crease the top, crease the um, edges as well. And then let's just check that we've got one, two, the little pages and the back cover. That's how you can make your own book. 
And you can do this with other bits of paper. You don't have to have it at A3 size. You could use a, a sort of standard A4 size piece of paper and just make a smaller book. It will just end up being that size instead. But if you want a book of this size, A3 paper helps. Anyway, I would love to see the books that you make. If you want to um, finish them, put them up onto Microsoft Teams and um, maybe let your teacher know that, um, that you've done that and they can send it on to me. So I hope you enjoy it and um, have fun.